Howdy, Possum Patty here. It is August 31st and I am nature journaling. Today is the last day of meteorological summer. And that refers to the three hottest months of the year. In my neck of the woods, that's June, July, and August. And I thought it'd be a good time to go out and harvest some lavender. Some of this lavender is ready to harvest. You can see the buds haven't opened yet. So I'm gonna cut a couple sprigs of this. Smells really good. You make them about the same size. I take off some of the bottom leaves and then I'm going to put an elastic band around the stems. You have to make it tight because as the stems dry they get a little smaller, they shrink. I'm going to hang that upside down and let that dry. While I'm here, I'm going to cut off some of these older ones. I think they still smell pretty good. I'm just going to cut them up and put them in this bowl for now. And here are my two sachets of dried lavender. And boy, do they smell good. I wish you can smell this through the camera. I also brought in a little sprig to draw. I just did a quick sketch and then splashed some watercolors on it. I found a quote about lavender that I really like. There's a few things I've learned in life. Always throw salt over your left shoulder. Keep rosemary by your garden gate. Plant lavender for good luck. And fall in love whenever you can. And this was written by Alice Hoffman. I went shopping the other day and I stopped at the Dick Blick store. And I bought some acetate envelopes. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those in a minute. And two Uniball white gel pens. Because I just love using these to add white highlights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this lavender up to finish drying. I'm going to put my sachet back over on the other table. Move my book for a few minutes. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up my flower press. So this is very exciting. Remember, way back at the beginning of the month, I went outside and picked all these flowers and put them between layers of newspaper and cardboard. Experimented with a lot of different flowers to see what's going to dry. Okay, here we go. First, 
are the Black Eyed Susans. Wow, that's interesting. I love this color. I thought they may have been too puffy to dry, but it seems like they came out okay. What I'm going to do for now is put them in these acetate envelopes. And then maybe at some point I'll use them as a project in my nature journal or my junk journal. Or just put a sample of a flower. in the journal. Oh, these are going to look really pretty on a page. I don't think I'm going to seal the envelope though. I think I'm just going to leave them like that to store them. Okay, let's see what's next. This was Smartweed. I'm falling apart a little bit. Oh, they came out almost looking like lavender, like a purple color. Okay, what's next? Oh, this is tobacco. It's the Indian tobacco. I'm going to have to label these so I don't forget. Put those in an envelope. Oh, this is the Bittersweet Nightshade Leaf. Aren't those beautiful? ferns. That's going to look lovely in a journal. A little tiny one. Ooh, this is the pink Veronica. Aren't those pretty? Show you against the white. Look how nicely they held that pink color. Very nice. all different kinds of things here. We have a pansy for 
purple pansy and little yellow violas and these pink ones are the verbena these are verbena Wow, they really held their color. Look at the dark purple on that. I'm going to put those aside for a minute because I think there might be more pansies and I want to group them together. Oh, here we go. Another purple pansy. And these are Diane... Um, yeah, Dianthus, pink, dark pink Dianthus, and purple Verbena. Oh, and here we have Lavender and Sweet Alyssum. Lavender in one bag. I'm going to put these aside for right now. The other tiny flowers. And we have trumpet flowers. Put those with the other trumpet flowers. And we have a variety of leaves. Witch hazel. Looks like lace. And I think these are um, ragweed leaves. ones. Let's see. We have trumpet and these are million bells. That came out very interesting. This is the coral honeysuckle trumpet vine. I think that's a million bell. And that's a million bell. Whoops. That came off. This was a rose. And this is a geranium fell apart. Okay, I'm going to have to group up some of these little flowers. Okay, I put my flower press back together and I bagged up the last few dried flowers. I put the rose in one bag. I put the geranium of some million bells, dianthus and the coral honeysuckle trumpet flowers together. And I put the verbena and the sweet alyssum in another pack. And I put the pansies and violas together and that is all my dried flowers, the leaves, the lavender. Love, love, love how this Veronica came out and the ferns, all the flowers. Look at these black-eyed Susans. Now I have to figure out what to do with these in my journal. And again, these were four by six. 25 pack bag of crystal seal 
acetate envelope, self sealing, art print and photo bags. So at the end of this video, I'm going to answer the question, why did the chicken run down the road? Thanks for coming along today. Happy nature journaling and flower pressing. Bye-bye.